All right, guys, we're out on the, uh, the new bike here. Maybe it in uh, three. It's definitely a torque sensor. The more you pedal, the faster it goes, so. Oh yeah, this thing's sweet. Different feel, Bo. Feel like I'm sitting, I don't know, more on the, I don't know, it's just a different feel. These mirrors are nice, they gotta be tightened up though. But that's the thing, you know, you go out on a maiden, maiden voyage and see how it goes. This battery wasn't fully charged, but uh, it'll, it's working. Not used to this uh, shifter. Nine speeds is nice, so I'll tell you. We're at 25 miles an hour right now. I got plenty of pedal. 27 miles an hour, still got plenty of pedal. This is a nice bike. Different feeling though, like I said, um, tight, nice tight bike. This one's definitely going to be a little bit faster of a bike, I think. Forgot where the throttle was in this bike because it's on a different side. So we're going to take this thing. There's a mean hill over here. I want to try it on this hill. So like I said, I want to swap out this controller pretty soon. So I do want to take this thing for a ride. So like I said, there's a hill over here. It's a killer hill. So if I'll try... So I'm in, uh, I don't know what gear I'm in. Second gear, I guess, third gear. It's hard to tell on this thing. And uh, it's slowing down, but like I said, this is a good hill. Let's hit the throttle and see what happens. The throttle is, uh, is gaining speed, guys. This is a butcher hill. This is uh, tough. So 11 miles an hour. What happens if I knock it up? This race gear here, whatever they call it. So that's going up about 11 miles an hour still. But like I said, this is a killer hill. So this tire, this bike, <laughs> Actually got quieter tires on it. And these are the uh, CST, something like that. These are not, not loud tires though. But I'm going to put those hybrids on this thing. And I got a nice set of street tires. I gotta figure out, I don't know, maybe the street tires will go on this in the summer, who knows? Depends on how those, uh, those things are, so. So yeah, you definitely got to pedal a little bit more with this bike. Uh, but I knew that, that's what you know, the torque sensor does. But uh, the power stays there, which is nice. So 14 miles an hour, I'm pedaling pretty good though. And it's in three, There's only, this thing only has four speeds on it, four passes. And uh, this is the smaller, one, so that's why I said I want to get out here and check this thing out, see how it does. We'll get the battery charged, maybe switch that controller out, see what the difference is. I like this. I could almost live with this, but again, I was looking to get that overall higher speed, so not higher speed, but consistent speed. I'm going to knock this thing all the way up to the... Uh, highest gear, see what we can get for, uh, this isn't a big hill, but let's see what we can get out of this thing. Not as fast. I'm getting, uh, so the electric is faster than this bike, but I got, uh, I got more pedal on this one, that's for sure, but, so this thing in the, uh, this is in the S, speed here, whatever it is. This thing's trucking right, right along, 27 miles an hour up the hill, so. 
Here's this big hill again. Drop the gears. There you are, dropped all the way. So this thing, at 30 miles an hour, I can feel it cutting out. I do not believe the other one will cut out. So anything over that, I'm on my own, so. We're at 36 miles an hour. No, 39, 40. So yeah, it's as fast as the other one. I have to turn this thing up a little bit so I can see it better. I'm trying to knock the pass down here and it's just not working. Oh, look at that. This must be the lucky bike. So we're at, uh, how many miles we got? Four miles so far. But this thing is uh, cooking along a little bit faster than the other one, I think. But it's got a bigger motor too, so. And maybe this pass is just up there a little bit too much or whatever. But if I knock it down to two, I think it slows right down. Yeah, so it's cutting out at about 20, 24. I'm on my own at, at 24 miles an hour. To knock it down into two, but even that's not terrible. If you were trying to conserve on battery. I wish I could tell, I'm staring at the gauge here. I can't tell how to get it in the canvas. Not that I care. It's never probably going to be in Kansas. So I guess we're going out for the second time today. I don't think I got it in me to uh, do another 32 miles. So let me just go around the, the loop here. So I can say I got a ride in. But it's good to get out here and test drive this thing. I haven't even peeled the sticker off the screen yet. Nice having that nine speed though. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice when I get that other controller on here. I like these mirrors though, bigger mirrors. Just kind of checking it all out guys. That's why I'm sitting here quiet, but you'll never know that because I'll cut it all out. But uh, yeah, checking it all out. Ring my bell. Kind of a different wire management on this thing too. It's a much shorter coil. I kind of like it. Wish I knew where they get it. Yeah, these tires are not bad at all. I would still still want my other ones on it, but if I I don't know this brand. I know that people like them, but I don't know uh, the quality of them. Almost tempted to put these on the other bike though instead of the Kenna's, but you know what's the difference? Like the Chow Yangs, but like I said, I saw those Chow Yangs on the Wyatt site. Really, I mean, not just one, like a couple people just showing their tires all chopped up and there wasn't any mileage on them, but I don't know if they're running them. It almost looked like they were running them too soft and uh, just ate up the sidewalls on those things. Well, we're gonna come up to our hill. I can't wait to see how that goes up the hill. I think it's gonna go right up, that's for sure. So this thing, I'm cruising, uh, I found myself in ninth all the time. So, uh, I don't know, I had that 58 tooth. Might end up on this bike. Especially uh, with the bigger controller, it gets going faster. So this thing kind of goes up the hill the same as the electric. It doesn't climb the hill like the Magic Cycle, but who knows? That new controller could be a whole different ball game. Definitely feel like the seat needs to go back a little on this thing too, so I'll have to look at that. 
Needs to be tipped up in the front a little bit and back a little bit. Fine tuning it, guys. Fine tuning it. Well, it seems like we already did this ride, so I'll have to. Uh, I don't know how much of it we're going to put out there or break it into two or whatever. It's always good to have extra video. You never know when you need it. Maybe next week uh, it'll be raining out. Who knows? But yeah, I like the way this thing rides. I like the way all my bikes ride, unfortunate. Well, fortunately, I guess. This is a brand new uh, seat post on this thing. I'm trying to feel, yeah, I don't know, it might be a little tight. There's adjustments on these things. You can pull a stem out and that uh, adjustment on the bottom. I might adjust it down a little bit. Might be set a little too high. Yep, and in the sun, guys. If this was summertime, I'd have my sunglasses with me, but I can't believe we went out there. Well, it's only a two amp charger. I was gonna say, uh, but I did put it on a two amp charger when I left. I took it off to when it was four amps. I was say after going out for that long, I would have thought the battery would have been charged by then. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade the charger. I'm really thinking about getting that charger that'll do any you know voltage, and it'll do uh, different uh, percentages of the battery. And I wish I had saw it before I bought the other two chargers, but. You know, you get two batteries, this bike's got two batteries, and you're gonna end up with two charges on it, so. And uh, that'll be the two Lunas on this thing, as that's what I charge. The uh, charger I got with this bike, nope, it won't be the Luna. I'm forgetting which bike I'm on. This one's 52 volts, so it's gonna have to be the, uh, the factory one. And then, this has only got one battery on it. I'm losing my mind, because I was on the other bike just before this one. So we're running in three. This is showing one battery bar down, which it left with basically one battery bar down because we weren't charged yet, so. And we've put uh, eight miles on the bike. I guess at this point, I'm impressed with the battery and the bike. Seeing how it's got a thousand watt motor on it, we seem to be uh, really conserving on the battery here, but could have to do with the torque sensor too. But that's good because when I run the other controller, it's gonna eat more battery. And that's why we're gonna put the second one on this thing so that we can strive to get that uh, 40 miles. And like I said, I, uh, I'll, I'll throw it a bigger bat I'll buy a bigger battery for the back if I have to. I'll get the 30 amp hour if I have to. I actually got the the money set aside for that. So I thought I was gonna do it immediately. I was thinking I was gonna run the uh, the deal with the second battery on that one instead of taking it off. I was just gonna leave it on it. But since we decided to uh, take that battery off and uh, now I got the battery so and like I said that bike could be moving on it's another company you know try to get the affiliate link for them too and I get nothing I email that lady all the time too I think that's just uh, support anyways they just tell you what you want to hear Like I said, I'm pretty sure uh, that screen is sitting in my mailbox, so I'll have to check that out. Get that bike up and running, throw some miles on that one, and probably uh, when the spring comes, I'll uh, send that out. That'd be nice if I end up, you know, a lot of my friends want to come up and ride. I got a million bikes, so why not? The guy that bought the XP there, uh, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I got this bike here that uh, he's like, yeah, no, I'm buying the XP. 
And uh, he was he was convinced he liked that thing a lot. So I'm glad. It's a nice bike. He'll be happy with it. He got the same one. So if it's got the wobble, we'll put a bearing on that one for him. So that was a pretty easy fix, actually. The pot, like I said, I think you could buy the pot if you. I, I think I could have got it for around eighty dollars, and I paid like one ten because I needed. I well, I wanted to get it right away, so that I could do the video before somebody else thought about it or whatever. So, I wanted to get the first one out there. I checked today. I think that thing's at around fifteen hundred views, and it keeps going up. The longer they sit there, the more and more they go up. I've got uh, ones with 5,000 views on them, but uh, they've been there for a long time. But hopefully now I'm monetized and my subscribers are going up and hopefully some manufacturers start to notice me and want to um, send some bikes and we'll... Uh, check those things out even uh you know tire companies and stuff you've got some tires send them to me i'll change tires all the time put them on a the bike see how each one works i don't mind i don't mind doing work guys yeah this is uh I, i'm glad i i had my first bike had a torque sensor on it and then, like I said, I wasn't ready for that bike, and uh, I was out of shape, just losing weight at the time, and um, I ended up getting a can of sensor because it was easier. It was an event. Like I said, you got to do a little bit more work with these, but it's worth it, I think, for the, the quality of riding. It's just nice. Kind of like a, like a regular bike, but you feel like a superhuman because... You got pile of power when you pedal. Yeah, I bought some uh, these little yellow lights that just clip onto the bars to blink, and uh, or you can have them solid. So I'm gonna move them uh, when I do night rides. I can move them from bike to bike. I want to be seen at night. Definitely gonna help. But I definitely want to do some night rides. I did that one night ride. People were like, oh my god. That was great, so I'm gonna get out there and do some more of those. What do we, we've got uh, another battery bar down now. But what do we got for mileage? 11 miles now. I'm not gonna try to go out, like I said. I just wanna get out here and ride it. Probably head home. I'm not gonna try to do 30 miles with it today. But let's knock this thing up into the S thing, which is the highest one, and we'll see what we get out of this thing. I'm in ninth gear, pedaling up a hill, doing 20... Oh, I'm dropping it down now. I was going to say, unfortunately, these brakes don't squeak, but uh, I guess it's a good thing. I don't need to spend money on the brakes if I don't have to. Maybe someday I'll feel like, you know, I want them, and I'll just buy them. Like I said, it's just a, uh, the color thing, but... Uh, I don't know. It looks fine the way it is. All right, see what the wheelbase on this. Oh, it doesn't matter. I was thinking of my other rack that you have to set the uh, the wheels. I was going to go swapping from bike to bike, but the big rack that I just bought that I'm going to run if my wife's not going with me or I don't have somebody else that's going to take a bike, I will. Uh, I could put it anywhere. So what do we got on this thing? 12 miles now. So we were at uh, 30, 30 something miles. I forget when we got the other bike in. Cause now the thing's at uh, 44 and a half miles. We were at 32. Yeah, that would be right, 12 miles, duh. And definitely got to move this seat around, that's for sure. Now the camera mount seems pretty solid on this bike. Gotta remember to tighten up the other one. 
I'll tighten the mirrors up a little bit on this one. And I gotta move the seat back a little and maybe soften up the suspension seat post. And other than that, I think we're good. So let me throttle up this hill. Let's see, eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour, but it's flattening out a little bit. 10 miles, 11, 12, 13, almost 14, started to slow down and get a 12, and it's gonna speed up now, so. That's just on the uh, throttle only. And this thing is at 19.7, the throttle cuts out, so it's governed at 20 miles an hour on the throttle only. And I did override this thing, so it is a class three right now. Brakes are good on this thing. All right, 45 and a half miles for the, my butt today and uh, 13 miles on the, the bike. So we got the maiden voyage in.